all these songs in a period of about two months. I just decided that I needed to sit down and do that, you know, and was just inspired somehow to do it. I don't know totally why, you know, but I did. years ago roughly uh, I had a little health situation come up I had a TIA transient ischemic attack I think they call it in medical terms which is basically a mini stroke and uh, <clears throat> I had a blocked carotid artery 95% that they operated on me 10 days or so in the hospital and uh, that sort of thing and uh, I was pretty incapacitated when I had that thing. I, was, I couldn't talk very well and uh, certainly couldn't sing a song. And it took me a while to get my playing back to some degree and uh, my singing back. And uh, it took about a year, I suppose, to recover to where I felt I would, could at least do that again. I just thought that I would write everything and see what came out, you know, and, and just really try to write without any influence of any kind on it, you know, other than just what was going to come out of my own head or the situations that I would find to write about. And so that's what this record is, uh, Wood, Wire, and Words, which is basically what my life's been about since I was about 11 or 12 years old, playing the guitar, the acoustic guitar, the wood, the wire, and writing a few words there. In the ghettos of Mexico City, beyond the rose-colored palace of Cortez, no one dared to walk through the dark streets in the rain of Porfirio Diaz. By 86, the mines were exhausted, and no longer the silver did flow. Town slumbered and slept in the tenth year. What was known as the Porfiriato. I suppose that I, I like to evangelize a little bit in my music, even though it's not necessarily religious uh, evangelizing, but I like to say something. I like things that tell a story or say something or have some morals or some direction, some substance to it other than just entertainment value. I don't like novelty material particularly, never have. I liked novelty songs that much, and that's made me very non-commercial. I always felt that my delivery was non-commercial to start with, my playing and singing, but I never had a flair for wanting to hear it either very much. So. I never felt like an entertainer, particularly, as I said, the last few years. Uh, so this is uh, an endeavor, an artistic endeavor, more than it's to be viewed as anything else. And it's, it has to speak for whatever it is, is what it is. And it's for art's sake, and that's, that's what it is, you know. Against the ass to up their guns In the year of our Lord 1910 Mexico 
America's revolution had begun. From the north came the bandit Pancho Villa, a warrior who knew how to fight. From the south, the fearless Zapata. Next year in 1911, Diaz to France fled away. Aderistas, they saw the Constitution, or say.